Are you confused about the differences between a die cut and a kiss cut? Stick around to learn more. In this video, we'll talk all about these important die cutting processes, what makes them so unique, and the advantages and disadvantages of both. So one of the important differences between kiss cutting and die cutting is that kiss cutting only cuts through the top layer and stops at a layer underneath, whereas die cutting can cut all the way through all of the layers. So kiss cutting is used instead of die cutting when you want to cut through a precise number of layers and not through them all. One of the examples you may see of kiss cutting is a sheet of stickers where the blade would cut just through the sticker layer and not puncture into the liner, allowing the stickers to remain on the sheet. You can control the depth of your cutting by one of two methods, designing the blades to cut to different levels or adjusting the pressure between the die and the material underneath. Depending on the pressure settings, the die's sharp edges can penetrate to a specific depth allowing for precise control of the cutting process. So combining kiss cutting and die cutting can result in a part with the main body still attached to the liner, but with other features cut completely through. This combination is extremely valuable in die cutting projects as it can consolidate steps and enhance efficiency. If you're wondering, laser kiss cutting is available and the pros are, the laser's power is adjustable, providing flexibility in cutting different materials. The cons are using a laser may shear off material, potentially causing issues with certain adhesive materials. Laser cutting may also leave behind char or residue and its bright beam is not suitable for light sensitive projects. So the advantages of rotary kiss cutting versus laser kiss cutting is that rotary kiss cutting tends to be much higher volume and is much more consistent because you don't have the laser burning the material potentially. On the other hand, with laser die cutting, with the ability to adjust the power, you can control depth on the fly and adjust for differences in the materials as they come through the machine. Kiss cutting requires close monitoring to ensure precise cuts. Incorrect kiss cutting can lead to imperfect or unusable products. If the cut is too shallow, it might not function properly, while if the cut is too deep, it can cause adhesive issues. I hope this video has cleared up the topic of kiss cuts and die cuts. If you have any other questions with die cutting or other converting needs, feel free to visit our learning center on our website or reach out to us directly. Thanks for watching.